collectors, I got my inspiration for tonight's card out of the annual catalog on page 45. We'll be using the Christmas to Remember Clean Stamp Set and the Seasonal Label Dies and the Christmas Pine Cone Dies. I want to remind you to use the current hostess code when you place a $50 order so I can send you your rewards. Hi, I'm Joan Hammerline and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I created this video for Joan's Simple Paper Crafts found right here on YouTube. If you're new here, I want to thank you for stopping by and if you're a returning guest, welcome back! Be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. That way you won't miss when I post a video, which is typically once a week. Now give me a few seconds to turn the camera down and we can get started. Here's the greeting card we're going to make tonight. You're going to want to use the Christmas pine cone dies and we're going to want to use these two dies that are right on top. And we'll just put the rest aside. Then you're going to want to use our seasonal label dies and we just use this one right here. And then our Christmas to remember labels will be the love and joy come to you and it may it last the whole year through. We'll use that on the inside and then for the front of the card we'll use season's greeting and I already have them on a stamp block. Next we want to do is take our card stock and I'm going to get this out of the way too. We're going to use our basic white. We're going to take the one and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch and we're going to cut it with our die. I like to do that and then stamp on the image after it's been cut. And I already have one cut, so here we go. So let's just take our stamp of Season's Greeting and let me get a piece of paper to put underneath that. We're going to use the soft suede for our stamp. And I want to make sure I get this centered on here. So pardon my head popping into there. And then lift it straight up. There we go. And next we'll do the inside of our card. And we'll use Love and Joy, Come to You, and May It Last the Whole Year Through. Okay, and I'm going to close this up. I think we're done with it. And then we'll just clean these off real quick. And let me set this aside. I like to stamp off so that it's not to muddy up my stamp and scrub when I'm doing my stamping here. And I'm going to have to spray this with our stamp and mist because I haven't used it yet today. And then we just scrub it on the left side where the, we sprayed it and then dry it off on the right side. Next we're going to apply our adhesive sheets. So the adhesive sheets is adhesive on this piece of paper and there is a backing sheet here and then this is the part we applied down so it's going to peel off and apply to that. I'll show you in a second. I've already got it applied to this sheet here and as you can see it's not completely all the way around so I cut it one eighth of an inch short on the length and width that's making it one sixteenth of an inch so there's just a little bit here that doesn't have anything covered and the same thing here and here and actually it's a little bit crooked but it stayed within the amount of the cardstock so that's okay and then we're going to show you how to put it this piece on i already have this piece cut at three and seven eighths inches by five and three eighths inches or that would be 9.8 centimeters by 13.7 centimeters and so we're just going to start peeling it back and what you do is you want to find the edge that has that little line in it and you want to turn it back over to the side where there isn't the line and start peeling that away and you may need to use your take your pick tool sometimes I can get it with my fingernails and of course this doesn't appear to be one of those times so I'm going to take my take your pick tool
There we go. So this is the sticky side right here. So I'm going to put it down with the sticky side down. Let me get this over here. So here's our distressed foil. And I'm just going to put it as close as I can to the edge. So I have about 1 16th of an inch sticking out there. And I'm just going to release the first tab. And there it is. Then I'm going to go on with the next one. And I'm going to butt it up to where we left off. Matching the right and the left side. All right, let's see if we can't get it down to that next side. Then we're going to do the last side. Then I'm just going to take my bone folder and just make sure that it's all down really tight. So now we have adhesive here and we've got it on both of these. So we're going to put it onto our cutting plate. And what we do here is we're going to roll this through the cutting plate and then we will take away the waste portion and then the adhesives will be just on the underside piece of what's left, giving us full contact on that piece. And I will do both of these. So I'll do this one first and then I'll come back and I'll do this one. And then I'll show you how to pull the paper off on the back part. All right, so I've got that cut out. And so I've just got the other portion of the Take Your Pick tool that has a brush on it. And I'm just getting it to release. And it actually did release quite a bit because I went back and forth two times on the machine. And let's see if we can't get that paper to come. So you just do that all the way around and we can take this part out, this inner part out. I don't know if you can see, I'm peeling off the waste part. Just about done here. I think and we can probably go ahead and start assembling this. Okay, so let me just pull this aside. And we're going to get our basic white out again. And we're going to push this down onto this paper here. So I'm going to peel the entire back off of it. Let's take this out of here. And let's get our silicone mat. I'm going to peel this off. right here that's where that seam was so I'm going to lay it down on the silicone mat and just try and raise that off from there got that part off do the same thing here Okay, I think. 
think that's all of the adhesive backing is off from there. Just going to get this cleaned up here. Okay, so then let's bring in our cardstock again. We want to lay this down in the center, and I'm just going to lay it there and kind of adjust it a little bit. We want to make sure that we've got it where it's supposed to be before we push it down and have it stick permanently. Some of the, these are going to hang over just a hair. So I think this is where we're going to have to have that hang over a little bit there. There. So that looks about right. Might be a little bit close there. Then when we come in with our gold piece, and we got to do the same thing with this one. So let's just put this aside and we'll bring this back in. I'm going to go this way. Seems to be releasing a lot easier this way. I think I did it the wrong way when I did the other one. little pieces here so we can take this piece off so these are all going to come out of here yeah. so let's go ahead and get the, the paper off the gold foil place it. So this is going to fit right here. I'm just going to press it very lightly. got that down now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to just use my bone folder to press it all down Get that out of here. now we can start assembling the card let's take the piece of crumb cake cut at five and a half inches by eight and a half inches or that would be 14 centimeters by 21.6 centimeters, and it's scored at four and a quarter inches, or 10.8 centimeters. And I'm going to fold and then burnish that on that score line, and I'm going to burnish it on both sides to make sure we get a nice, flat, and crisp edge. Just got rid of that. A little bit of that waste from the other piece. Then we're going to glue this down and we'll use our seal for that. This is pretty good. Stick to it so I don't have to do a hundred percent coverage. So I did the long strokes, one complete stroke. Then I just did the short sides in little strokes 
and then we're going to put that down inside here. And we're going to leave 1 16th of an inch for a border on all four sides. And then we're going to turn this on the inside and we'll burnish it from there. And I see this is sticking out here, so I'm going to see if I can't lift it up and just bring it in further. And let's see if I can't get both of those together. There we go. And it's not quite so pronounced coming off the edge. And let's do our inside of the card and we'll use our seal again. And I'm going to make sure I get it down in the corners. So I'm just going to check back on all these. Okay, then we're going to put it on the inside. And this is going to have 1 16th of an inch for a border on all four sides. And it's stuck down here. Let's see if I can't get that up. And then we can just use our bone folder on that. Then we'll use our dimensionals to put our greeting down. And we're going to use our Take Your Pick tool. I don't know where my other Take Your Pick tool, so I'm using the one that has the brush on the back. But that's no problem. It still has the Take Your Pick portion. And I'm going to put three dimensionals on here. Kind of keep it balanced when it's going through the rollers at the post office. And then I'll just take my Take Your Pick tool and pierce into the backings to take those off. And then we want to make sure we get this centered here. And I'm going to just take this out and put our paper backing down again to help me center it. Trying to get this card on here. There we go. It's shifted here, but I think I shift along with it. All right, that looks great. Okay, let's get that out of here. Let's bring our other card back in. I hope you liked this project as much as I did. As you can see, it would work great with just about any holiday stamp set. Why don't you give it a try? Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, would you do me two favors? Click the thumbs up emoji, which means you like it. And would you share it on social media with your crafting friends and pin it to Pinterest? These actions will help me to keep sharing my ideas with other crafters for free. And I'd really appreciate that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any future videos. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just reach out to me. If you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order or would like a catalog, hop over to my website where you'll find the Shop Now button. To shop with me, you'll need to go to joanheberline.stampinup.net. Mark your calendars. I'll be back next Saturday, November 19th at 7 p.m. Central Time, and we'll be doing another holiday card. I hope you'll be here to join me. Thanks so much for being here with me tonight. I look forward to next time. Bye for now, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>